right? Until you start to feel like you want to breathe. When you start to feel that urge, start running, right? Start running, but hold your breath. Start sprinting as far as far, fast and as hard as you can, right? Obviously be in control. When you're like, oh shit, start running more, like you're trying to get more distance. We're gonna do this for five minutes. All right, so right now we are starting with the boxing crew. We are simulating high altitude with max breath holds. They are working until they feel that slight sudden urge to breathe and then I'm speeding up the pace to a maximal breath hold. We're gonna do this for five minutes to get that, that tissue temperature, to increase that heart rate and to also get them ready for the dynamic movements and the overall training ahead. Follow along, let's do this. Single leg, loop bridge, pull the knee into the chest, flex the foot. Right, flex the foot, toes to the top of the shoe, hold for a two count, drive up, five reps each side. One knee, right, I want a 45 degree angle, right, not a 90, so 45. Flex the toes, right? I want you to tilt the hips, so we're gonna posteriorly tilt. So you're gonna squeeze the glutes, squeeze, drive your hips forward, right? Or drive your, your butt forward. Then from there, you're gonna brace, then drive up. Hold position, squeeze the glute, then back down. Right, relax it, relax. Tuck in, drive up, hold, back down. All right, give me five of those. Drive, back in, back out, down, all right? So we're here, lock in, up, out, down. Let's get five of those. Bottom leg is up, flexion, feed it through, drive up, all right? Hold that position, let's get five reps. Good, try to feed it all the way through if you can. All the way through. Do it 90-90 now, 90-90. Bring this foot in, all right? Stay close together. All right, you're gonna give me a shin box, get up. All right, you're gonna rotate around, get into a lunge position. Tuck the toe, drive up. Come back down, reverse the process. All the way back around. All right, control it though. Smooth motion, smooth motion. Five reps, five reps each side. Lateral push, rotational throw. Lateral push, rotational throw, all right? Push back and then throw. Push back and then throw. Not forward. There you go. That's the one. Here we go. Scoop it. <laughs> throw it up more, throw it up more. Still not, still leaving your thighs. You need to slide it up. There, see that? Squeeze your glutes, drive it in. There you go. Take about two minutes and we'll go again. All right, five by three. All right. All right, so we're in the weight room right now. We finished our warm-up sets. Now we're getting into our working sets for Maureen and Dez. They are on a speed and power block. The first, the first phase of this block is predicated towards starting strength. After that, we're gonna be working more speed strength. Since they already developed that base of strength, now we're working on increasing that explosive power. But first and foremost, we're gonna work in an 80 to 85% range to get that starting strength. So every rep that they take is from a static position. And that's gonna increase the rate of force development. With that being said, we're also gonna be doing some repeated explosive power movements when it comes down to the conditioning. Everybody else, we got general strength over here, and then we got Jay getting ready for his fight in two to three weeks. So he's on a peaking block where he's gonna be doing potentiation clusters. But for today, the video is predicated towards these two individuals right here, increasing that rate of force and getting them strong and ready to be powerful inside the ring. Let's go. Hip. Good. Head, get your head more in neutral. Because right, okay. your head's like this, get okay. your head neutral. Yeah. It's different than sumo. Okay. All right. Head's neutral, and just from here, we drop. Pull. Pull back. Right there. Good. All right. Don't
don't think straighten your legs out because you straighten your legs out first. Think pull with your upper back first. Okay. Right? Just for you. I wouldn't say to anybody else, but for you, start pulling like you're trying to pull it back that way. Okay. Right? So pull back. Uh -huh. And when it gets past the knees, then you can straighten the legs out. Gotcha. But don't straighten your knees out too, too early because your hips will kick back and the bar is going to shoot forward. Okay. Right? Again, if you want to check out more of this type of style of training, I predicated all of this training towards the heavy hitter program. It's available now in the link in the description. Check it out. It's a 12-week boxing strength and conditioning program that you can get right now. Tuck your chin in. Good. Right there. Lats. Right there. Drop. Hips. Pull it to your... Keep it close to your body. Crush your armpits. Get tight. Lats. Chin. Pull back. Hips. Good. One more. Tight. Pull back. To me, to me, to me. Good. Don't set up too close to the bar and don't set up too far away from the bar. Get to here, let that shin angle, right? Make sure that shin angle is perfect. The knees can be on the bar or on top of the bar, that's fine, but your lats gotta be tight. If your lats aren't tight, this is over the bar, you're gonna round all the way through. So you gotta pull, right? And then from there, you pull the chest, pull the chest up, act like you're trying to stop a freight train. Boom, once it clears the knees, then you can drive the hips through. And you don't even gotta worry too much. As long as this is locked in and you're not, you're not moving in the T-spine as you go to pull up, if you're already locked in and you're rounded, I'm cool with that. But if you go like this and then you round to come up, that's an issue. There you go. Be more patient. Hips. Right. You still want to use your hips. Like you're driving your hips up. And you want to come up like, instead of doing that and that, you want to just come up. The hamstrings and your hips are stronger, and your quads are strong, and you now get your upper back strong. I don't care if it's a little bit of a round, as long as it stays like that. Yeah. If it's like this and you just got a big back, and you're, if people have a misconception, if you go like this and then this happens, then that's an issue. But if you're like this, and you're slightly rounded, and you just come here, I'm cool with that. Last, last, good. Right there, right there. Hips. Good, down. Right there. Lats, lats, brace. Hips. There you go. Much better. Do it again. Lats. Hips. Down. There you go. Good. Much better. I in a better position. Hold on. Go ahead. Come on. Right there. Hips. Yeah better because you you were trying to power it up and you were losing position with a little bit heavier load it's not gonna move like that right you can get away with that when it's speed work this is more of that strength speed work because it is a little bit higher on the intensities okay. so you got to kind of grind it until you feel like okay now I can be in a good position to explode through so it's a grind off the block again it's static overcome by dynamic when you have the ability to stay in a good solid position and still be fast then you do so but if it if it Turn it throws you off your bar path, and we can't do that. Right? So now we're getting more into our speed strength with accommodated resistance for the kettlebell swing, another accessory exercise that I like to utilize um, for hip extension, especially for the boxers. Now they're gonna go into reverse hypers for the posterior chain, and we're also going to be doing some Russian twists for rotational strength in the transverse abdominals. And then we're gonna finish off with some explosive repeats. that full round and then pull for your lats okay and simulate that deadlift okay. right so i want you to get in position and then squeeze your glutes let it come down relax it get that full stretch and then boom again gotcha. Jake is now doing high threshold training. He's getting close to his bare knuckle fight. 
And so we are working on an increase in volume when it comes down to the entire time of the fight. We're gonna bring that down once he gets a little bit closer to the fight. So we're bringing down the volume or the duration of time. And then we're gonna get it right where he needs to be for his two minutes of work and four rounds. Right now he's doing four minutes of work for two rounds. So it's a, it's a flip flop. Then we're gonna go get closer and we condense that time to make it as specific of a time frame that he needs to do for that bare knuckle fighting. But right now he's pushing through his faces. Extension, triple extension. Get up there. Explode. Explode. Got 10 seconds. Five seconds. Come on. Four, three, two. Relax. Good. Shadow. Nasal breathing only. So right now they are doing maximal breath holds while they're doing the explosive repeats. So you just got a basic kettlebell jump or jump squat. They're blowing all the air out, holding their breath for as long as they can while they're doing their jump squats. They're getting a 40 second rest and they're going to be active recovery with nasal breathing shadow boxing staying technically sound and they're increasing that parasympathetic response by nasal breathing only then we're repeating that again they have eight rounds total but two sets through so 16 all together get up there get up there extension of the hips extension of the hips good drive your hips to the kettlebell keep going five seconds get up there get up there get up there time Five seconds. Good time. Good. Shadow, 40 seconds. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. They're finishing up their explosive repeats. Again, you've seen Dez and Maureen hitting their speed and power block. Today, again, like I talked about, is creating that starting strength, and then we're going to increase it with that speed strength with those compound lifts that have the highest correlation over to boxing, to combat sports in general. If you like this video, let me know. Also, if you're looking to learn some of these methods and protocols, you can check out my mentorship course where I go over everything. You'll have access for life. Just hit the link in the description. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Show me some love. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification so you know when my videos come out. See you again next time. Peace.